does it mean to be this Hey guys, so I'm going to be talking about the Minecraft Earth livestream, uh, while a time lapse of me in Clank's survival series plays. So, in Minecraft Dungeons, I've seen that there are reserved drops from bosses. So, first off, Wolf Armor, that's really cool. Second off, that's, that's reserved, so each player has like a color, and then that color, like, it it goes into the loot kind of if it's like a reserved drop only that player can grab that loot so i think that's a really cool feature that means probably not all the loot will be reserved which is also kind of cool but yeah i just wanted to point that out and um also let's look at that menu like rt which is r2 for people who play playstation i play both honestly but that looks like it's um gonna be one of your main attacks which i think is really cool and uh the, you also have a healing potion in there and other stuff so that's pretty cool and that red thing looks like it would probably be some sort of uh arrow case or something i do not know but, all right on to the next uh clip slash um screenshot and i like how they made more detail into the pigman's face and made them look like more of a pigman rather than a zombie pigman but at the same time it doesn't really look like a minecraft pig it looks like too realistic kind of and i don't really like how they changed it like this because like they already established their look for a zombie pigman we all know what a zombie pigman would look like but now we have to get used to a completely different design and the other mob I'm okay with, like the one that they introduced, but just the zombie pigmen I'm kind of upset about. Um, this might not be a retexture for zombie pigmen, this might be a whole different mob, but if it is, then I'm kind of upset about that because they have already have lots of merch of the old zombie pigmen, and now there's a new one, so. And they've already released skins on it and stuff, so you won't really be able to play a zombie pigmen. Also, you see that arrow? It's like glowing. I think that's cool. And um, that means we're also gonna get an archer-ish class, like one that uses bows or crossbows. So I think that's cool for Minecraft Dungeons. And uh, let's move on to the next topic now. Oh yeah, you will be able to customize your character in Minecraft Earth. I'm just gonna use the Minecraft Earth skin since I already signed up for Minecraft Earth and I have that skin, which I can use. But, um, yeah, it's cool that they have a skin customizer for Minecraft Earth. Uh, yeah, I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, on Java, it, you can just get custom skins for free, so I don't really... I mean, I see the point, but, like, that they're trying to make money from, like, customizing skins. But, eh, I don't really care about that part but i think it's kind of cool for people who don't really have custom skins but they want to make custom skins but like they don't know how to shade and finally the target block it sets off a short redstone signal whenever you shoot it well a full redstone signal whenever you shoot it and it doesn't wait until the arrow disappears it just disappears like after you do the signal like after it goes where it needs to and i think that's uh, I, th I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it works. So, I mean, it, it could make for some cool doors or stuff for adventure maps. So, it's it's way better than just, um, like, pressing a button. Un I mean, shooting a button. Even though it might be uh, more expensive, we don't know how to make that target block yet. And then, the honey and the bees? I don't know. I think that's a cool change, but uh, I'm not very sure about it. Uh, I don't know. I, I have a mixed opinions on lots of stuff from Minecon Live and uh, the community panels. I really like them. Uh, Minecraft Better Together, Hermitcraft, uh, Scar, Mumbo, and Stress Monster came in. Somebody else, but I forgot who. And yeah, I think that was pretty cool. And yeah, I think that this was a pretty cool um. Minecon 
uh, they had lots of community panels, said some pretty cool updates, and um, I think it's cool that they have like two spin-off games. But I don't think they they should um, start relying on making spin-off games to Minecraft. I think they should still focus on the Java edition of the game, well, and the console editions. Well, also, my PS4 friends want Bedrock on PlayStation. But Sony did say no the first time, so I, I'm not very sure about that. Um, yeah, like, like, I mean, even though I say that they shouldn't focus on the spinoffs, I feel like they should update them a lot. I think it would be cool to have like a for Minecraft Dungeons a um, Minecraft Story Mode DLC for that, where you might unlock some like Jesse gear or something, and uh, you fight. Like you might unlock the the stone from the order of the stone from that it might have a cool effect and like the boss would probably be the wither storm i think that would be really cool and i also realized that there's a level system in the game because in this screenshot it says level up and uh, this is pretty much just my opinion on minecana live so uh, i hope you could agree with me comment if you have some disagreements um yeah i um, want to know if you've realized anything that i really haven't realized i didn't point out everything i realized because that would take a while and uh i'm recording this before going to school and yeah um i'll see you guys all in the next one like subscribe and comment for more videos bye guys